Hello everyone. I will be talking about the largest prime so far found. So uh, a new record of the largest prime number has been found lately. Um, let's explore this number and know more about it and how to deal uh, with it using uh, some Python, NumPy, and finally we'll be using um, uh, we'll be using Python and the uh, GMP library, which is a C library, to deal with. Um, very large integers basically uh, anyway I will be, I'm importing in here um, numpy math and um, date time just to uh, measure some uh, time um, that uh, some operations uh, takes so um, this number was found uh, in 2016 this year uh, using the um, great internet um, uh, Mercer Prime uh, search uh, GIMPs uh, this prime is uh, one of the Mersin uh, primes, uh, which uh, uh, which are of the um, which are defined uh, with the following formula: uh, two to the power p minus one, where p is a prime number. This is a pseudo uh, prime number, meaning not all uh, Mersin prime numbers are primes. So um, two to the power of two minus one, that's three. Uh, 7, 31, uh, 127, these are all primes. Um, and in here you can see we did the formulas to uh, uh, get these values. The first non prime uh, number in this series, or the smallest non prime number in the series, is to the power 11. Uh, actually, this is to the power 11. So. So it's to the power 11, 2 to the power 11, um, minus 1. Um, so uh, 2 to the power 11 minus 1, that's um, uh, uh, 2047, which is not a prime. Um, the largest number found so far, it's 2 to the power of 74,207,281 minus 1. The reason I didn't write the actual number is because it's over 22 million digits. So um, to just uh, calculate this number and store it in a variable in Python, we can put this power and apply the formula two to the power of this two uh, to the power of this number minus one. And you can see it took a little bit of time just to calculate this. Um, the way to test these um, numbers is using the Lucas Limer test, um, which uses the Lucas series, which is 4, 14, uh, 37,664. The way this series works is you start by the number 4, then you apply this formula. So every time you take the last um, value in the series, um, take it to the power 2 and um, subtract 2. So if we start with the number 4, which is one digit, the next number will be 4 to the power of... Um, actually, I can use S in here, which is the last one. So uh, the last one, which is 4 to the power of 2 minus 2, 14. And here I can put S again and calculate that. So that's 194. Then 37,000 then um, 1.4 million uh, 1.4 billion uh, then I can't even pronounce this number actually the largest one found so far is to the power of 74 million which is takes a little bit of time I'm actually using a different formula to count how many digits because if I wanted to use this formula of converting the number to string it will take hours to process this number uh, but it's 22 million digits over two, uh, 22 million digits so um, the test we're using is the um, the test is basically we check the uh, a number in this uh, we take our um, uh, Mersin uh, prime number uh, n to the power 2 minus 1 if it's uh, divided by the basically corresponding uh, number in the series minus two, so the number lower, um, 
by the prime number by 2 in the same series, you should get a remaining of 0. The problem with this series, it grows very large very fast. So if we want to go until 74 million, the, the, uh, the number representing the 74 million position in the series, it will be a very, very large number that we cannot really handle. But there is another way to do this test, which is taking the remaining of each number and using it for the next number. So in here I can calculate, for example, up to, um, I, I can try the power of 61. And if I run this, uh, it will tell me it's a prime. So if I um, just uncomment these numbers, um, it's um, oh okay if I uncomment this it will tell me each one of these numbers how many how much time did it take and they're not taking much time to process but if we try the actual number that we want to deal with and to test if it's a prime number or not you will notice something in here it goes really fast then you will see the time it takes for each one grows really fast so in here we're already taking 300 milliseconds for number 20 it grew to 1.1 1, uh, second then 3 seconds then the next one uh, is almost 10 seconds I think the next one is more than one minute so this approach will not really work for us so let's stop this um, we can use Cython which is a um, an implementation of um, a language that uses um, uh, context very close to um, very close to um, Python, but it it's really really fast. The way it works is really really fast, and it uses C libraries and it converts this code to a very efficient C code. So um, in here, let's try um, sixty one again and you can see it returned prime really fast the problem with using C <coughs> is um, <coughs> we have a limitation of 64 bit numbers so if we go any number beyond 64 um, 2 to the power of 64 it will overflow so we cannot really use regular um, Python to you to do this code so uh, in here I'm using um, um, the GMP library which is a, a C library designed to deal with uh, very large numbers uh, I will not go into the um, uh, into explaining this code it's basically this code and it's the same as the Python code but in uh, GMP library feel free to uh, check out the code the link to this is in the description below um, and I run this code with the same power and I run it for almost 16 hours and I get to 17,000 so this will take this will process almost a thousand every hour so to process 74 million that will take very very long time feel free to execute it on your machine and try to get it it might take you a month actually to process the whole number but um, anyway, that's the code in uh, GMP. If you want to run it on your machine, I get to 17,000 and I had to stop it to actually record this video. Um, anyway, um, I hope you like this. And if you are interested in this code, the, this is all available on uh, GitHub and it's available in MB Viewer. The link to it is in the description below. Thank you for watching.